Welcome back to Twilight Tattoo. This week, we'll look at the role of America's army in the growth of the early republic. America began to rapidly expand its borders following the revolution, and the United States Army was at the forefront of that great movement westward. President Jefferson's negotiation of the Louisiana Purchase in 1803 almost doubled the size of the young nation. It would fall to the Army to discover just what it was our nation had bought. The President appointed Captains Meriwether Lewis and William Clark to lead the Corps of Discovery, a mission to learn about the unknown West and establish United States sovereignty. Sergeant Patrick Gass was a member of the Corps, one of about 35 soldiers and a few civilians. Gass lived to be almost 100 and experienced firsthand the amazing growth and enormous challenges that faced a young America. The Corps is of a determined and resolute character and confidence pervades in all ranks. There is a sense of duty and honor that will see us through our journey. We expect to fulfill the expectations of the government and our fellow citizens. That is from the diary I kept on our mission. We had the best soldiers in the Army, each one with unique skill that contributed to the success of our mission. We had no idea what we would encounter along the way, but we knew that if we persevered, if we stayed together, we would make it. We are bound as brothers and have forged into a team. The captains are fair and they have earned our trust. We are the first Americans to be in this place and to see the wonders of this incredible land. We are truly blessed despite the danger. Throughout the 1800s, Western lands offered seemingly endless opportunities for Americans. But with those opportunities came severe challenges. America struggled to determine the course of our nation, and the Civil War resulted. Union soldiers marched to a tune that would come to define the conflict, a song that continues to echo throughout time. Listen now as the United States Army Band performs the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Tens of thousands of Americans followed trails that stretched from St. Louis, Missouri to Oregon, California, and New Mexico. 
By 1870, the Transcontinental Railroad linked our nation and sped growth as never before. The Frontier Army was a small, yet professional force, assigned to outposts scattered across the western United States. Four regiments of African-American soldiers were formed as a part of that army. These Buffalo Soldiers, as they came to be called, protected the settlers in this vast and hostile land. Augustus Wally, born into slavery in 1856, was one of them. We just got back from a rough run up in the mountains. We got hit hard and lost more than a few men. My buddy Burton got separated from us during the attack. We had to fall back, but there was no way I was leaving him. So I went in and dragged him out. I tell you, it was rough there for a few minutes. And I wasn't sure if we were both gonna make it out. But I trust none of my soldiers would have left me if I was the one out there. Soldiering out here ain't easy, but we all joint for a chance at a better life and to serve our nation. We're proud of the cavalry, proud of this uniform. We don't catch many breaks, but maybe one day we'll get recognition for what we do. Augustus Wally was awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions that day. He would serve until after World War I, achieving the rank of First Sergeant. He and thousands of other African-American soldiers would wear the Army uniform with honor and distinction. In 1948, the perseverance, courage, and commitment of African-American soldiers to the Army and the nation were finally recognized when President Harry Truman desegregated the armed forces. Tune in next time as the United States Army emerges on the world stage, confronting the enemies of democracy and freedom on the battlefields of Europe in World War I. Thanks for joining us.